Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Kill of the Wisp. This gun is pretty awesome and is not like a lot of other shotguns out there. Now, sadly at this point in time of recording this video, this gun is only a world drop. That means it can drop from any lootable source. Gearbox did confirm that dedicated loot drops are coming to this game in the future, so hopefully by then we'll have a drop location for this gun. Anyways, let's jump into the video and get the gun. Alright, so because it's a world drop, that means you can drop anywhere from a chest or a boss, or it'll be under the chair you're sitting in right now. And now for you guys, you want to farm the boss you can kill the fastest, and that's going to depend on your build. For me, I have this Fire Laida, and I'm going to be farming Graveboard once again. So yeah, let's get right to it. Timber. Oh, we got a... Kill of the Wisp. Damage, very high. Accuracy, fine. Handling, lower. Reload, fair. Fire rate, slow. Mag size 6, pretty low. Red text is, some say it can lead you to your fate. Bonus, weapon charge speed, consumes 4 ammo per shot. 1.8 times weapon zoom. And this one happens to be anointed, but we're not going to worry about that for the testing. Now this gun will always have really high damage, and have very high damage over time. Also, it only comes in shock. So the gun looks pretty good, um, it's Malawan, so it has kind of a futuristic looking theme to it. And it has a green and black finish. Yeah, I like it. Alright, it is a Malawan, so when you hold down the trigger, it's going to have a charge time and shoot out a shock ball. So the modifiers are neutral, so let's go ahead and push forward here. And we're going to shoot a blast. And you can see that it's going to connect to enemies as it travels. And we did damage to all those guys, and you can see now they have no shields. We broke all of their shields in a single shot. Now obviously not great for close range because, yeah, you want to have the ball travel past the enemy and connect to them as long as possible. Also, the ball can pass through enemies too. And it looks like it can hit crits too, that's good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five enemies here. Let's shoot the ball. Alright, no shield. Oh, apparently there's a guy up there too, so it can track through walls. Yeah, this thing ain't bad. So if I shoot this at the floor, not at the enemy. Yeah, it does have splash. But that doesn't seem like the way you want to use it. This is a very easy to use gun. I can just like shoot it, go around a corner. Uh, enemies can't see me, but my ball of energy can see them. Now, it does eat through a lot of ammo, so keep that in mind. And it seems to be mostly good for breaking shields. Not really a boss killer, um, but it can get jobs done. And there doesn't seem to be like a limit for how many enemies it can lock onto. So if you have a bunch of enemies in one location, this thing is great. Alright, final thoughts on the Kill of the Wisp. It is not a bad gun. If you're trying to break shields or kill lesser mobs, then this gun is perfect for that. Now, for some of the tougher enemies like the heavies and bosses, this thing does not perform all that great. Like, it can kill bosses and stuff, but it's going to consume so much ammo that you might as well switch over to a different weapon. Yeah, 4 ammo per shot is very, very pricey. Overall, not bad, but I would only use it to like shoot into a group of mobs and break their shields. After that, I would prefer to switch over to a fire weapon or something and take out their HP. So yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.